want to get groomed, Merlin? Do you want to get groomed? What are you doing up here? Are you ready to get a schnauzer haircut, Merlin? <laughs> He's grooming himself. He says, isn't this where we get groomed? I'm going to come up here and groom myself. <laughs> so silly. Yes, I set up my grooming table out here in the uh, schnauzer room. Uh, I figured I could look outside and have some natural light. Um, I usually set it up in my laundry room, but I feel so claustrophobic in there. Um, here's my laundry room, just in case you're a new subscriber. Um, I usually set it up in here, but um, I just feel claustrophobic in here and it's always in the way when we're coming in and out of the house and I just figured, you know what? I'm setting it up out here. Yes. If I got a lint roll and vacuum the chairs in here, because hair may fly, which hair usually doesn't fly far. It's usually right here, just right here around the table. Um, if I got a lint roll and do some extra cleaning after, I don't care. Yep, we got a new chair for over there so we could have uh, extra seating out here. Um, so I put my, the, well, I call it Mozzie's chair because he's usually the one in it right there. I put a blanket on his little doggy recliner <laughs> and put it back in the window and he's very happy. Yes, he is. <laughs> he's very happy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do it out here. It's already 11 o'clock. I'm getting a late start, but I wanted to make sure my heel was okay, which it is feeling better. I've been doing the stretches that I found on YouTube. Um, I have a compression sock on um and these flip-flops a lot of people say don't wear flip-flops these flip-flops um I purchased uh specifically for the problem I'm having so the flip-flops feel great on my feet um so they're not the problem they uh I bought them specifically for the plantar fasciitis and um so anyways and I also ordered a different nighttime brace because the two I have um, because I move so much in bed, it was coming on Velcroed and coming off my foot. So I purchased one. I think that will stay on my foot better. I was supposed to be here today. And I also got a walking boot, like a lot of people suggested, um, for when I'm out and about, um, I can wear out, uh, brace to help brace my foot to keep it at a 90 degree angle. And I think it's 90 degree. Um, to keep it in the right position to keep that my foot stretched so I also ordered that that's supposed to be here today too but my heel is feeling better I've been icing it again um, I guess when it started feeling better I just wasn't taking you know how when you start feeling better oh you, I don't need this medicine anymore and then you get sick again <laughs> that's me in a nutshell my foot started feeling better, so I stopped doing all the things I was doing, like rolling it on that. I don't know if that ball's out here. No, I have a ball that have, has nubs on it that I've been rolling my foot on. I stopped doing that. I guess I can't. Even when I'm feeling better, I got to stick with that routine for a while. So, um, yes, and I think I'm going to get, I do have inserts. I've tried everything. Um, I've been doing everything that I'm supposed to do, except go to the doctor. <laughs> And I know everybody said, oh, look, you rushed a magnum to the doctor and then you don't take yourself to the doctor. I know. I hate going to the doctor. Um, I really don't want to get a shot in my foot, a steroid shot. Um, so, yeah, it, if it keeps up, I'm just going to have to do it. I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and do it and just go. Um, but I'm trying to do everything because I know I can get it feeling better. I just got to stick with the routine um, after it is feeling better to keep it up and I need to get myself, um, we have a store called the good feet store. Um, I'm thinking of going in there. Um, they make arches, um, orthopedics arches specifically for your foot and also sell shoes too for the problem. So I'm thinking about going there too. Maybe my husband and I will go this weekend. Um, I need to call him and see if you need an appointment first. I don't know if he can just show up or what because of the whole COVID thing. I'm not sure. So I need to call him. 
So thinking about going there, I don't know. I Maybe next weekend. Maybe I'm going to wait and see how this splint and this walking boot does for me first and see what happens. So, yeah, I know. I'm making excuses. <laughs> Anyways, okay, I'm going to get the boys out. Um, I'm going to groom Mozzie today. Mozzie's becoming kind of, I know a lot of you probably think they're not very long, but his leg hairs are getting long. His eyebrows are getting bushy. I'm going to cut his beard a little shorter. Um, now that spring seems to have sprung a little bit and all the snow is melting and it's mud in the backyard, the less hair on their legs and around their paws, the less I have to clean them up and the less dirt and mess that's coming in my house. And Magnum today, around 1 o'clock, I can take his bandage off. He's been doing good um, with his bandage. I found that, Marley, stop snipping him. I found that putting the cling wrap around his bandage first and then putting the boot on, he was fine with going outside that way. I was putting the boot on and then putting cling wrap on thinking that would protect everything and he did not like that because the cling wrap made kind of a noise when he was walking, I think, and I caught him outside trying to pull that cling wrap off. So, <laughs> I know, are you smelling his boo-boo? Are you smelling his boo-boo? <laughs> um, I found putting the cling wrap on first and then the boot. He was totally fine and ignored it and just went outside and did his business. So, look at Magnum. He's like, stay away from my boo-boo. You stay away from my boo-boo. <laughs> These dogs are so funny. I want to say a real quick thank you to Laura for becoming a patron. I always say it wrong. A patron on our Patreon page. Um, thank you to Emily. She bought um, Mr. Grant a orthopedic bed uh, crate mat for inside his crate. Thank you so much for his birthday. Also bought the boys some treats. I thank you so much, Emily. Um, got a birthday card from Lisa and a gift. Thank you so much, Lisa. Am I forgetting anyone? If I have, I'll jump back on here later and let you know. Um, if I've forgotten anyone, I don't think I have. Oh, Paul, I believe Paul, who sent the boys. I, I think I showed the kitty hammock. Yes, I showed Merlin in the kitty hammock he sent. He also sent some other kitty toys and treats. Um, I, th I think I covered everyone. I think I covered everyone. So big thank you. And a thank you to all who just sent a card, an e-card, uh, birthday wishes on the comments and on my Facebook page. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, I need to get them outside, get Mozzie washed, and get him on the grooming table. Well, Mozzie's all done. Mozzie, Mozzie, show him your handsome face. It's probably already wet. Oh, yeah. They're barking at a squirrel. A squirrel family has come and joined us. They've come and decided it's lunchtime out there at the bird feeders. It was quite interesting when I was trying to finish Mozzie up. Who's right there? Mozzie, you wanted to jump off that table and get the squirrel, didn't you? I tried to shut the curtain so he couldn't see it, but it didn't matter because they were running all over the place. <laughs> they were running all over, weren't they, Miggy? <laughs> yeah, so maybe this isn't the best spot. I really need a grooming room. <laughs> really do or I just need to sh put the other boys in their crates but I hate doing that you smelling my com I took my compression sock off my feet were getting sweaty it's hot in this room too because that sun beats in the front windows here and it's warm in here so I had to turn the heat down and I can't have a fan on because then hair will blow everywhere yeah so I think I'm gonna Eat lunch now. I think, I don't even know what time it is. I think, I need a clock out here. I think it's about one. I think I'm going to eat some lunch. And then I'm either going to groom Milo or Grant. Um, I don't know who yet. Not sure. Uh, it depends on what kind of mood Mr. Grant's in. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on what kind of mood he's in. So I've got my mess all cleaned up. Got the table cleaned off for the next dog. So, Mozzie. Mozzie, you feel better now that you're all your hair's off you? He's not going to come over here. He's probably thinking I'm going to put him back on the table. I made his beard a little shorter. 
it's still long, but it's, I took about an inch and a half off, I think, of him. So yeah, his legs are all cleaned up. He won't be bringing in so much dirt out there. All right, I'm going to go eat lunch, and then we're going to take your ba- uh, I've been calling it the boo-boo bandage. <laughs> Mag Mag, you want your boo-boo bandage off? It's like, no, I just want this squirrel. Yeah, so we'll get that off him here in a second. All right, let's get this boo-boo bandage off here. Scooch over this way. I'm hoping it just rips off, but I've also got this little teeny pair of scissors case. I gotta snip the, snip the wrap. It's a little muddy because I just let him go outside um, without his boot on. Let me see here if I can find the end. You guys remember last time when I did this? I don't think I can find the end, so I'm going to try to snip this blue tape. Why are you kissing me? You don't want me touching it? <laughs> no, no, you don't want your nose to get cut. I got a cookie in my apron. If you're a good boy, you can have a cookie. Boy, they sure don't make this easy to get off, do they? No, no. You got mud all over your bandage. No, no, you're going to get that scissors poked in your eye. <laughs> Magnum! Almost said Mozzie. No. It's just like when you're yelling at your kids and you yell the wrong kid's name. Boy, they got the sticky tape on your fur. Oh, this is just going to be lovely. Oh, this is going to be lovely. I'm going to have to call and yell at them. That is stuck right in his fur. Oh my goodness. Yes, I'm going to have to call and yell at him. I know. I'm going to try to cut it out. No, no. We're going to cut that tape off your fur. You got to groom me anyway, so. But I'm very upset about this. Why would they stick sticky tape? I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's stuck right in his hair. Oh my goodness. I know. And then I might have to put him on the grooming. Yeah. I'm going to have to put him on the grooming table and get this out of his hair. I'm very peeved right now that they weren't more careful about that. So let me get this off him and we'll be back. Well, we got him off it. Thank goodness I groom my own boys and I have a grooming table with a, um, Oh, what is that called? The loop. <laughs> the loop to hold his head up so he couldn't um, put his face down there anymore when I was cutting that off. But there's where his boo-boo was. That's that styptic powder, I believe, to stop the bleeding. Um, but yeah, look at this. Stuck right in his hair. That's ridiculous. So yes, I'm calling to complain. <laughs> if you don't... They'll keep doing stupid stuff like this. That's just, why wouldn't they put like a pre-tape or something under there instead of sticking it into his hair? That's, I don't remember it being like this last time this happened to him. That's just ridiculous, isn't it, Magnum? Yes, you need to get groomed too. All right, so it looks good. It don't look swollen or anything. Um, it's just gone. It's just gone, yes. I'm surprised they didn't... Uh, shave his hair down around that area too before they taped it but i guess i'm glad i'm glad I'm, i guess i'm glad the hair was a little longer so i could cut it oh my goodness <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna get going i'm gonna get magnum off this table and then i decided i'm gonna do milo i'm gonna do a little stinker here first because grant's still snoozing i let the boys out and he did not come running here let's get this off you let's get your grooming loop grooming loop <laughs> Um, let's get you off the table. Come here. Come here. There you go, bud. Now, I don't want you licking that like crazy. Oh, I forgot. I was going to give you a cookie. Yes, I forgot. There you go. He's like, hey, where's my cookie? <laughs> they know whenever they get off that table, they're going to get a cookie. <laughs> you want another cookie because you were such a good boy? There you go. <laughs> yeah, um, I let the boys out and Grant didn't come running. He is really snoozing, so... I decided I'm going to do a little Milo here. 
and get him all done. And then I got to end my day because I've got to pick up my stepmom. She had knee replacement surgery and she needs a ride to her physical therapy at six o'clock. So I got to go pick her up and give her a ride. So I'm going to stop with Milo and um, that's probably good anyways. Two a day is about what I try to do. Yes, Milo says, where's my cookie? After you get your hair cut, you get a cookie. Yes, after you get your hair cut, you get a cookie. Yes, you do. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope everyone has a great weekend. Hopefully, I'll have all the dogs done this weekend. We shall see. <laughs> all right, guys, talk to you again soon. Bye.